Greetings folks, this is the Racerstar F405 Wing Nano flight control board, an intriguing little flight control board. Most of the previous flight control boards I've used are from Maytech, but this is uh, interesting seeing a very, very similar board coming from a different company. It uses the same INAV target as the Maytech F405 Wing, which is Maytech F405 SE, has enough onboard flash memory to do RG Pilot iNav. It also has Bluetooth capability built in, which means you can wirelessly connect to the SpeedyB app, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. That's why I've already sold it on the, the battery lead, so I can test out the Bluetooth. It comes with XT60 or XT30 battery cable and four uh, servo-style cables to solder on. We'll see why in a minute. Also comes with a little breakout board for the USB-C and DFU button, which is very, very nice. We also get a, a variety of coloured pins. I really like these yellow pins because I'll be able to use them for other things to differentiate between the RX and the TX on the UARTs. Uh, better than just using white for all of them. Also get a, a sort of a mounting plate adapter. Um, which will screw onto the bottom of the, the stack so that you can get screws into a, a mount of some sort. But yeah, that is a very nice little board. For comparison, there's the Matek F411 uh, WSE. It's about the same footprint as that, tiny bit smaller actually. And I'll just quickly show you the uh, Star Attraction, which is the onboard Bluetooth. Everything lights up, start scanning, and you can see it's called iNav, connect to iNav, and that's what it does. We are connected via Bluetooth. Isn't that cool? You do need to you leave, in the ports tab, this UART1, you need to leave MSP turned on. If you turn that off, the Bluetooth stops working, so the Bluetooth is connected to UART1 by default. So you can see it's triple layer, interconnected by pin sets there, battery pads there and one ESC pad there, it doesn't really cater for two motors. On this collection of pins here we have VTX, uh, camera here, battery ground, uh, uh, I2C1 there, UART 3, UART 5, and we have RSSI, uh, I2C2 there, LED, buzzer, UART 2, and S bus is that one there. And all the, all the uh, PWM outputs are, are down in here, so uh, that's why you'd be connecting these servo leads uh, for uh, servo outputs. So there's three, four, I'll have to take the bottom off actually. So you sort of have to prise apart this pin connector there. S3, S4, S5, S6, S7 and S8. S1 is there for the ESC connection. S2 is there. We also have some uh, jumper pads here. Boy, they're tiny, aren't they, to change the voltage from 5 to 6 to 7.2 volts for uh, VX. And we get some of the specs on the bottom here. Voltage range 2 to 6S, uh, 104 amp current sensor. So the VX BEC is 5 volts and 4 amps for the servos. Can be 6 volts or 7.2, as I showed. And we have a 5 volt 2 amp BEC. I assume that's for the camera, but I'll have to solder it up to work that out. Uh, and 3.3 volts, 200 milliamps. I suspect the video transmitter works off the VBAT pad, or what's called the BAT pad on this one. Um, but we'll solder it up and work that out and see how good the filtering is through the video system. I have the Racer Star F405 wing mounted in the Talon Pro. Uh, just built a little shelf across there, some core plus supporting a plywood base and then uh, just double-sided tape the 
ply control board on some ID card plastic and screwed that into the plywood. Easy to remove, there's the XXR receiver. Uh, yeah. GPS underneath the lid here, uh, so that'll be facing the right way when I fold it back. So we're ready to go, let's go out and fly. Okay, here we go with the Talon Pro. Racer Star F405 wing board. And we are up and away. Bit of noise there. And it's not brilliant. Unfortunately. Uh, so it looks like I'll have to do some filtering. Bit of wind picked up there. Thought that might be the case. So need some external filtering for the video feed for sure. Oh, there is that wind, damn wind. But the board's flying okay. We're in acro mode now, stabilised. Turn to home, see what happens here. Should start circling around about there. Look at all that water. Yep, yeah, that's doing the right thing. Altitude hold. Let's see how we go, 50 metres. Seems to be working pretty well. Gosh, there is a bit of wind up there now. Loiter mode. Loiter mode. Big puddle there, don't want to land in that. Maintaining 63, 64. The video feed's not too good. Yeah, that's working reasonably well. So, okay, we need a little bit of video filtering. Yeah, extra capacitors maybe, LC filter in the line, or just feed the, uh, the camera from, or the video transmitter from uh, the battery or something like that. Bring it in land line of sight because uh, it's a bit tricky at the moment. That'll do nicely. I happen to have an LC filter, an inline LC filter uh, in the bag, so I've popped it in and uh, that has cleaned up the video quite nicely. So there you go, you just need to provide your own LC filter for the video transmitter, I think. Oh yeah, that's got rid of it nicely. That's all it needs. I think I could use a bigger prop on this thing. It's uh, not pulling much current and kind of a bit slow. There we go, that's nice. So this board doesn't have as good uh, filtering on the power for the video transmitter. This is uh, totally untuned and untrimmed. Uh, this flying <laughs> out of the box, really. So the settings aren't too bad. Time to land. Switch to line of sight. Wash off a bit of speed. Couple of loops will do. <laughs> Whoa, there's a stall. Gliding in all the way. God, this this thing glides well. <laughs> I do have it on minimum weight. 
hoo hoo in the arrestor grass. Good stuff. So there you go, much better with a bit of video filtering, video power filtering. The Racer Star F405 Wing Flight Control Board. Thanks for watching.